Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Julius Caesar and today we get to finish up Act 2, Scene 1, which is exciting. Um, we get to hear primarily from Portia today with a little bit from Brutus because the two of them are chatting. Um, what has happened earlier in this scene, Act 2, Scene 1, all of the conspirators met at Brutus's house and they decided that they have to kill Caesar for the good of the people. They're only going to kill Caesar. Decius Brutus is going to make sure that Caesar gets to like the court tomorrow so that they can actually kill him because if he doesn't show up, their plans are kind of spoiled. And then everybody decides, yep, we'll meet again at eight o'clock in the morning. Good night. So then Brutus was sort of envious of his servant Lucius who apparently can sleep through anything maybe just because it's three o'clock in the morning and he's tired. But then Portia, Brutus's wife, comes downstairs and she was like, you know, Brutus, what are you doing? Like, we were in bed together and you got up and you left and last night you blew me off and you've been doing, like, you're just not yourself lately. Like, what is, what is with you as your wife? I should know. And Brutus is like, I'm just, I'm just sick right now i'm just i'm not well and portia says is brutus sick and is it physical to walk unbraced and suck up the humors of the dank morning what is brutus sick and will he steal out of his wholesome bed to dare the vile contagion of the night and tempt the roomy and unpurged air to add unto his sickness no my brutus you have some sick offense within your mind, which by the right and virtue of my place, I ought to know of. And upon my knees, I charm you by my once commended beauty, by all your vows of love and that great vow which did incorporate and make us one that you unfold to me yourself, your half, why you are heavy. And what men tonight have had resort to you? For here have been some six or seven who did hide their faces even from the darkness. Kneel not, gentle Portia. I should not need if you were gentle Brutus. Within the bond of marriage, tell me, Brutus, is it accepted I should know no secrets that appertain to you? Am I yourself, but as it were in sort or limitation? To, to keep with you at meals, comfort your bed, and talk to you sometimes? Dwell I but in the suburbs of your good pleasure. If it be no more, Portia is Brutus harlot, not his wife. You are my true and honorable wife, as dear to me as are the ruddy drops that visit my sad heart. If this were true, then I should know this secret. I grant I am a woman, but withal a woman that Lord Brutus took to wife. I grant that I am a woman, but withal a woman well reputed, Cato's daughter. Think you, I am no stronger than my sex, being so fathered and so husbanded? Tell me your counsels, I will not disclose them. I have made strong proof of my constancy, giving myself a voluntary wound here in the thigh. Can I bear that with patience and not my husband's secrets? At which point he's like, oh, woe is me, my wife is awesome. And then somebody knocks on the door and that somebody is Caius Ligarius who has come to also be a conspirator. Um, before Caius Ligarius comes in, Portia goes back to bed, Caius Ligarius comes in and is like, well, I don't really know what you're doing, but Brutus, if you're leading the way, then I'm in. Brutus is like, great, let's go conspire. Um, so yeah, it's, to me, this is an interesting scene and a really fun scene because Portia is such a, like, she's such a strong wife and she's not the sort of wife that we always see especially in classical literature like she's she's there and she wants to be an equal partner and she's calling him out for the fact that he is not letting her be an equal partner at this time she's like i am from noble birth i am married to you and the fact that we are married means that we are one and you shouldn't be hiding things from me and i just i don't know i kind of love to see that anyway so act two scene one ends 
Tomorrow we get into Act 2, Scene 2, which starts a little bit later in the morning. It's not quite 8 o'clock yet, but we, we start to see the events of the Ides of March unfold tomorrow as we start to dig into Act 2, Scene 2. I'll see you then for that. Mwah.